there lads and lasses, Jacobs here and welcome back to another gameplay video. So today we're going to be moving on to the next war story which is known as Nord Lease, which I believe means Northern Lights in Norwegian, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. So anyway, this takes place in Norway obviously in 1943, so let's have a look at the mission's description. 1943, Norway has known occupation for three years but has not known peace, join the resistance as they seek to reclaim one of their own. I can't pronounce that. Norway, spring 1943. As war rages across the globe, the Western Europe falls under the shadow of the swastika. Germany deploys 400,000 Wehrmacht soldiers to secure their northern front and dominate Norway's population of 3 million. I'll probably pronounce that Wehrmacht thing wrong. It could be Wehrmacht, I don't know. Norway's rugged coastline bristled with Kriegsmarine ports and Luftwaffe airstrips, the population is kept in check by the... that. <laughs> Rights are suspended, people disappear, voices of dissent fall silent. I can't pronounce any of these German and Norwegian words, give me a break. Every life is touched by the occupation, but the war is not over yet. Alright then, so we're in for a different mission compared to Under No Flag. And now we're just waiting for a cutscene. Nord lease. Okay, just not even any context by any of the characters before the title came along. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce that either. It tells me look sounding like a divvy. Here we go. Det kom ut som barn fortalte de meg historier om skapninger og monster i skogen. Mine egne barn er fortsatt i Tyskland. Jeg savner familien min så veldig. Så nå er jeg her igjen. På jakt etter de monstrene i skogen. For tre dager siden prøvde en liten britisk kommandotropp å utføre et raid ved hjelp av en tekniker her. Angrepet lyktes ikke. De ble drept og vi fanget dem. Vi vet at noen er der ute. Er dette kvart-en-kvart monster? Bare fortell meg hvem det er. Det finnes utallige historier om skumle skapninger i de norske skoger, løytnant. Men da du burde bekymre deg for, det finnes ikke der ute. Du har ikke vært der så lenge, har du? Vet du hva dette anlegget gjør? Hva det produserer? From what I've heard, it produces heavy water. Jeg trenger ikke bry meg om slike detaljer. Jeg trenger å vite om det er flere soldater der ute. Du vet ikke, eller du vil ikke vite. Jeg anbefaler deg å snakke med meg. Om ikke, blir du sendt til Tyskland. Og der kan utspørringen være mye mer... ...ubehagelig. Da 
at bandet i dette anlegget er mye mer enn essensielt for krigsinnsatsen, løytnant. Folket ditt skaper et monster. Her, i denne bygningen, fatter du? I think it's a very brief overview of what happened. Anyway, we're going to be skiing, my favourite sport. Right, let's go down then. Let's go to this occupied territory. I mean, I'm a very amateur skier. I mean, I've only started practicing jumps. I don't often get to practice because, well, Britain doesn't get snow often, does it? Right through this valley. Oh, and we could have just hit our head in that tree trunk there. But thankfully we didn't. And whoa! Holy shit! Wait, hang on a minute. That snow didn't look too deep. In reality, wouldn't have we broken our legs? Well, ho home, let's get on with the mission. So what do we have ourselves here? Uh, a rifle. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the Craig Yogson from the multiplayer. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, if I pronounced it wrong. Because my pronunciation in English alone is already bad. With foreign languages, it's even worse. Alright, so we have ourselves a couple of people digging a grave. Right then, so let's get on. Right. And we're given throwing knives, and there's one. Shh. You heard for call. Bye. All right, we're getting somewhere. Can we pick up their MP40, but I want it to be an addition, like a secondary weapon, not a replacement for this craggy oxen. Right, let's get our skis back on. Oh, oh, shit. Right, so what do we have ourselves here? A watchman. Have um, a couple of grunts trying to fix a car. A uh, scout. Let's just try and move over here. Get towards this bridge. Oh, actually, let's get underneath the bridge. That's the more stealthy option. Wilderness in Norway doesn't half look good. Step up from Scotland. Right then. Um, let me try going up these steps. Anyone here? Oh, oh yeah, we have somebody over here. Maybe this vantage point will be good for spotting targets. Have anybody up here? Oh, of course we do. Why wouldn't we? Okay, so... What sort of situation are we dealing with here? Oh, we've spotted the alarm straight away. All well and good. There's somebody else over there. Who for some reason hasn't seen that um, his buddy in the tower has died. What have we got ourselves here? Car 98k. With a no scope. Nah, better off with the Craggy Oxen. Um, can we maybe jump onto that roof? We managed to, but we hurt ourselves in the process. Come here. Follow the uh, spent cartridge. You gullible fuck. Go to sleep. Right, should we try and disable this alarm? I think we should, that's a good idea. Oh. 
disabled. Right, throw a lure over there. Can you move over there, please? You saw the bullet. Go on. Somebody's curious. There we go. Gotten. Right, so do we have ourselves anything over here? Gewehr M95 slash 30. No, I think I'll stick with this for now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was a really nice rifle from Battlefield 1. Well, depending on how you look at it, it was shit over range, which... Is quite bad because that, that's what a sniper is for. Right then, let's find this missing resistance fighter. Let's get into this factory. Oh, have ourselves a patrol over here. Got one, we got two, we got three. Could find a way around them? I could. Oh, shit. Somebody's sort of spotted me. Gone. Gone. There we go. These knives aren't half good. I've got six of them as well. They're stealthier than a sniper. They could just carry the entire war effort with the throwing knives alone. Right. Got ourselves somebody up here, I'm guessing. Yeah, we do. So we managed to make our way to the uh, the main facility, but without a doubt, the front that front entrance is going to be guarded. So let's try and find a way around. Oh shit! weren't expecting you. And there goes the stealth. That was inevitable, wasn't it? Hello. Probably look for a health pack. Wait, what am I saying? It just generates or regenerates automatically in the campaign. Anyone else? No? All well and good. Right, let's make our way around here. Hopefully the buddies at the facility never heard me. Hopefully. Cause if we manage to get caught over here, I've got quite an armed response. Let's just go through the woods. And here we go. What's the point in having this fucking fence if you can jump over it? See? Onto the roof. I guess you could say I'm good at parkour too. Um, right. Got somebody else over here. Our resistance fighters should be somewhere up there. Let's make our way forwards. Make our way around here. And oh, 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 oh. Have to be careful with this crevasse. We'll take this conveniently placed tree across. Alarm, alarm. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I just ran into the spotlight, didn't I? What a dumbass I am. <laughs> Headshot. Let's run up this path over here. Not the stealthiest resistance fighter, but... I managed. I got the job done. Right, what else have we got over here? What's this? K7. Hmm. Oh. Car 98K suppressed. That'll be useful. Oh, I've only got 10 bullets though, Craig Yorkson and more. Anyone round here? One, two, three. Onto the fucking truck. Let's move, move, move! <laughs> Weren't expecting such an armed response. Watch me insulting him, did you just assume my agenda? 
Right, let's get him through these doors. And oh, have ourselves quite a complex facility here. Oh, what's this? Bren gun. Um, tell you what, that'll be more useful than the car 98k suppressed. Let's make our way forward. Let's be around here. Anyone? Hello? Or should I say hello because I'm fighting Germans? Oh! That sounded like a bayonet charge from Battlefield 1. And I'm here. Never came through a wall, but came through a door. So not quite like the Kool-Aid man. Hey, what's my character's name? Solvig. I'm going to have to type that into Google Translate and press um, the speaker button so I can pronounce it right. Because without a doubt I said that wrong. And we're defending Astrid. Oh, that's easy enough to pronounce, I suppose. Last time I heard that, it was that last out of How to Train Your Dragon. And that was yonks ago. Moving forward. You're not frozen in that shirt. Okay, let's move forward. And it sounds like an armed response is coming. Come on, Germans. Me away. There you are. Just the response I was looking for. Hello? Just three of them here. Oh, there we go. With such a professional German army, they're somehow not able to destroy one or even two resistance fighters. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's one because Astrid's not really doing anything. Well, to help defend anyway. Let's pick up your ammunition. And 30 drilling. No, I'm not a fan of shotguns, mate. Not in games or real life either. I mean, I remember the first time I fired a shotgun when I went clear pigeon shooting, like the recoil of the gun. I was eight at the time, by the way. The recoil of the gun forced us into the wall behind us. Like, fucking hell, it wasn't half powerful. I had a saw back the same day as well. Right, come on, Astrid, let's move forwards. And at the time of making this video, it's December the 2nd, so I believe the last Tiger War story is going to be released in two days. And the only problem with that is the time um, when it's December the 4th will probably still be uploading episodes of, well, the Nord Lease War story. I mean, they do take a while to make. This Astrid last kind of sounds like a conspiracist. Only this time she's correct. Substations. Meet at the bridge, okay then. Hello. Oh. Wasn't expecting such a response. Oh wait, you're a flamethrower. Oh, well not anymore. I was wondering why it, it taken so many bullets to kill you. Right. Let's sabotage his substation. By switching it off. Bam. Shit. Oh shit, didn't see you. Reload. 
Oh no, oh no. Probably best not to ha use um, a fuel tank as cover. Or is it a heavy water tank? I can't tell. Right, let's get up these steps. Have ourselves another substation over here. And we have somebody waiting for us. Oh, nice. Oh, bloody hell. Must have had a powerful throw. I mean, it knocked you in the air. Now, the MP40 is better, better in multiplayer. Mainly because I've got some specialisations for it, which make it a bit better. There we go. Destroy the electrical substations by turning them off. Brilliant. Right. Now we have to beat Astrid at the bridge last time I heard. Rendezvous. Any way out of here? Ah, yeah. Here we go. Now I believe this is where the skis come in handy. Let's get these back on. I wish you could have these in multiplayer as well. Right, it wouldn't half be fun. There we go. Can we jump? No, the sandbag stopped us. Right, let's ski down this road. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I think we just went the wrong way, haven't we? Collectible area water pipes. Can we exit through here? Oh, of course we can't, can we? I was going to say, that would have been convenient. Anyway, let's place our skis back on. I think we uh, overshot the entrance. Let's go that way. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> right. Let's ski down here. Hello. Goodbye. Skis are better than... Uh, Trucks for evading enemies. Oh yeah, and I just realised on the other day, um, when you're destroying some of the planes on the under no flag war story, you could have actually got into a Stuka dive bomber and done it all from there to make it a hell of a lot more convenient. I just realised. Anyway, we're taking cover quickly before they get across the bridge. Come on, the two woman army. And, well, that was, oh. Sulvig's arms glitched a bit. 